today I'm going to take up data file handling and let's do the topic uh, of uh, modifying a record in this right so till now we have seen uh, how to read a record from a file how to write a record how to search for a record how to delete a record right the only operation that is left now is how to modify an existing record in a file now I have written the um, initial part of the program the class is class EMP the same one which we had taken earlier so here we have emp number name department and salary right now in get data we are going to accept the data from the user so here I write see out enter the employee number and uh, end in C in EMP number right the next one C out enter the name of the employee and then and then see in name right so same way you put down all the details enter the department and then see in department finally the salary so see out enter the salary see in salary here right uh, so that's all we do uh, in the get data function then I have the void display function now in the void display function we just have to display the uh, details so here I, I write EMP number like this and then we display the EMP number and then come to the next line like this, right? End in. See out name, close the string and then display the name and then put a end in, right? See out department. department here and end in and then finally the salary this is the salary here and end in right okay this is the end of your display method and then now I'm going to declare the prototype of a function which is called modify right void modify and then I close the class right we'll be, de we'll be defining this modify function now since um, it has been declared inside the class and not defined so we'll be using the scope resolution operator void m scope resolution operator and then modify like this right now inside the modify function what are we supposed to do right so modify function basically is for updating a particular record or modifying a particular record right so now here i'm going to write c out employee number and then I am displaying that employee number fine so basically uh, whatever, whatever is the record that is being displayed here right okay hmm? name and name and end in right see out department department 
and then see out salary salary here and then end it. right okay now after this here I ask the user to enter the new details enter the new details for the record right so whatever the user enters that will be the modified data right now here I have to take some variables here so name 1 I take and that is 30 right and then I take care DEPTT1 and then this is 10 and float salary 1 like this now you have to remember one thing that the employee number will not be changed right the changes that you want to make will be in the other variables only name department salary the employee number once given to an employee that will remain permanent that will not be changed right okay now after that we write see out new name for the employee right and here I am giving an option like this enter dot to retain the old name right and then whatever the user enters goes into this variable name one same way see out new department again here I'll write the same thing enter dot to retain the old name it's not necessary that it has to be dot only it can be any character right so you can put something like enter comma to retain the old name or enter K to retain the old name enter any any character from your keyboard right okay hmm? right now C in DEPTT one then see out new mark new salary enter to retain the old one right okay C in salary done so here the user is entering the new details for the record okay now after that we need to check what the user has entered whether he has entered a new name or he has entered a dot if he enters a dot that means the same thing has to be retained right okay hmm? so here I write if string compare now name is a string department is a string so when you want to compare strings we use the function string compare which is there in the header file string dot h right now here I write the name that we had taken that is in name 1 if name 1 is equal to dot right then it will give equal to equal to 0 here fine or let's put it the other way around is not equal to 0 if it is not equal to 0 means the user has not entered a dot he has entered something else so in that case I say string copy name comma name 1 so the record in the file is rewritten with name 1 that is the new name that was given by the user right okay hmm? now same way we do it for department also if str cmp we put it like this department 1 dot 
not equal to 0 in that case we write str cpy dep tt department and then department 1 like this right ok then marks for that you don't need uh, for salary you don't need uh, this uh, what do you call it? string compare so I will do it like this in fact for salary here it is not dot because salary is not a string here right so here I will put it as enter some number basically so we put it as minus 1 right ok hmm? enter minus 1 to retain the old one so here I will write if salary not equal to minus 1 that means a new salary has been entered right in that case I say salary is equal to salary 1 right understood that is all we have to do in this function modify here I close this function so basically in the modify function I am asking first of all I am displaying the old record as it is and then I am asking the user to enter the details for the new record and if the user enters the details for the new record then I first of all check whether the user has entered a new record new detail or not and if he has entered a new detail that is uh, written to the private variable private data member of the class right so this is basically the uh, modify function now after the modify function comes here this uh, the class is over the modify function is also over now basically we have to write the main function right now in the main function most of the things that we do are the same like I take a f stream fine and uh, here we open a file in the supposing I say emp.dat and this file is open in both input as well as output mode right ok mm -hmm. then I have to take the emp number see whenever you have to modify a file uh, for modifying a file you first uh, for modifying a record sorry for modifying a record you first need to search that particular record right so the searching module that we have done earlier you have to do the same thing here the searching module right once that particular record is searched after that this modify function will be called right there will be one accessor function in this class uh, which will be like this here I am putting it uh, it will be after this one right uh, the int get emp number right and here we will write return emp number now I will show you the modify module in this I mean how to call that modify function right uh, you will ask the user to enter a record enter an employee number for which he wants to search right the user enters the employee number now after that I will go through the file while not uh, now whatever we have taken this one f stream object we, we should have taken a f stream object here supposing I call it as file 1 right ok hmm. now here while not file 1 dot eof right ok so that means I am going through the whole file now here in this case see we have to take one integer variable here or one uh, we will take it as long we call it as pos right now here I write pos is equal to file 1 dot tell g so before reading the record I am storing the position of the cursor inside this variable pos right after that you read the record this read will do the read here fine after doing the read you will check if 
uh, whatever uh, object you have taken, supposing the object I have taken for the class is S1. So I write if S1 dot get EMP number, right, is equal to equal to EMP number 1. The CMP number 1 is the variable that you might have taken inside this file, right, okay. Hmm. In that case, if it is equal, we call this modify function, okay. Now, this is the place where your modify function is called. Once the modify function is called and the user enters the new record, right, okay, hmm. then you have to do this file1.cg. Pause. That means I have to position my cursor back at the position where the record is starting, right? Because when you read the record, the cursor goes to the end of the file, right? So now I have to come to the beginning of the file. Then I do file one dot write, and the write uh, this thing will come here, right? The same syntax what we have done earlier, and then we have a care found. And I put this care found is equal to y and then I break out of the loop, right? Now, this is what we do in the modify function. At this point, wherever the search is successful, at that point the modify function is called. And once the modify function is called, all the data is accepted. And this you have to remember that when I have a record like this, uh, at the first record suppose, the cursor is here. So, when I say tell G, this point, this position is stored inside this pause, right? This is pause here, fine. Now, when I read that record, after reading that record, the cursor moves to the end of this record. Now, when I want to modify the file, if I keep the cursor at this position itself, then it will modify the next record. But I want to modify this record only. Right? So, we have to take the cursor back to this position. The position is already stored in the variable pause. Right? So, when we say file1.cg pause, this comes back to this place. And when you do the write operation, the write operation will rewrite this record. Right? So, with that, these are the, uh, this is the basic thing you have to understand in the modify uh, operation search module you have already done and uh, the same thing the search once you search then you modify right so with that i come to the end of this uh, session good